All right, so I have a few tabs open that I want to close out. I didn't really even prepare it, but um, so it's just once the few things add up and I can, excuse me, connect a few dots, um, then I get some tabs open that I need to start closing up. So I was getting all these nines. Um, I might have even mentioned it in the video. I don't know if I put it in the title, but I saw 99 on the end of a license plate. And then I saw 999. And like in prices, I was seeing like 999, 999, like 999, all these nines. 999, nay. So, um, and nine, nine months in Spanish, nuevo. Okay, so new, uh, novena, so birth, newness nine okay those all are very much associated with each other. okay so and then when um all this like the angelic pleading okay so how they were letting me know they're associated with the stars and all these okay so the elohim the angels um particularly right now archangel gabriel which is like the last link in the chain that's <laughs> they save the it's like the best for last, but it's the worst for last. It's like the most rewarding, but it's the most, it's like, oh, fire that burns your ass. Oh, burns you, burns you up all the way through um, from the inside out. It's purification. So, so I remembered, um, I think it was Job 9 9. Yeah. So. I mean, yeah, now I know it is, but so when I looked it up, it was like, yeah, okay, that, I was right, that was the one, because uh, when all those nines were coming to me, and then I was already associated with Job, and then something, so through synchronicities, I got, okay, Job 9-9, and this is, okay, so I, this is just Bible, Bible gateway, um, but I went to the OJB, not the KJV, <laughs> the Orthodox Jewish Bible on this site. And so Job actually in the Hebrew is Leov, L-Y-O-V. Okay, so Leov and 9-9, nine, nine, this is very important, okay? <clears throat> Just this one verse alone, there's so much to break down, but, um, and just think of, well, you can break it down from Job, which is really Yob, and B's and V's are the same, just like Y and J, okay, so, Job would really be Yov, and this is El Yov, so just the letter L, so Leov, like Lirin. Lion, Lion of God, Lion Heart. Okay, so the terraformers of the. Okay, so the feline, feminine, ferrous rich, iron rich, magnetic. Uh, very much in tune with the embodies of so much of the feminine creative energies that they were one of the founder races as far as terraforming the earth. Okay. Because the power of the undulation, the the two, the wings or the lungs, so those huge lungs and the, excuse me, the roar of the lion that can carry for 50 kilometers or whatever the lion animal medicine card said. But <laughs> so whether it's Job, Job, Jove, Yov, you can all break it all down, and it's Leov or El Yov, Y O V. L Y O V, okay. So Leov, nine nine, and it says this, which maketh the bear. Which is, okay. So in the KJV, it says Arcturus. Okay, this represents Arcturus. The bear is like the Big Dipper. Okay, you you go up to the end of the handle of the Big Dipper, and that's Arcturus. Arcturus or Arcturians are the archangels. Okay, so which maketh the bear, Orion, and the Pleiades. 
And I'm only talking about things that are given to me through dreams, synchronicities, all this confirmation, dot connect, and then it seals the deal with the confirmation from the Bible. Okay. So, you know, if I can't find it somewhere in scripture, and you know, I'd rather reference the Hebrew and stuff because it's just there's more uturi there, if you know what I mean. There's just more essence, so the, it, it, the storytelling of it, there's not these fine, intricate details left out that really helps tell the full story, okay? So, Leov, love, lion, lyrin, ovulation, oration, oraphim, the lion, okay? Very much big, big builder, manifester energy because of the feminine energy that they embrace, embody, harness. So, which may, so this is Leo or Job or Yob or Yov, okay, or Jove. But I like to say Leo, okay, so, because Lyran, yeah, lion, yeah, with the Lyrans, okay. So Leo 9 9, which maketh the bear, Orion, and the Pleiades, and the chambers of the constellations on the south side of the heavens. South side of the heavens. Okay, so, which maketh the bear, Orion, and the Pleiades. Okay. Now, Leo 3831 in the OJB. Canst thou bind the chains of the Pleiades or loosen the bonds of Orion? Now, let's go to um, what they say in the King James. See, up here. So, not where to go. King James, KJV. Okay. Now. Job 9.9, 9. this is the KJV, still on Bible Gateway, so I'll read the same exact verses, Job 9.9 9 and Job 38.31. Now, I don't know if the Orthodox Jewish Bible, I don't know if that the OJB, I don't know if that's the Hebrew, if that's the same, so, um, and I couldn't find one that said Hebrew, so, you know. Like the Tanakh, I don't, I'll have to look that up. But this is just for y'all. Okay, but don't need to go too deep into it. So Job 9.9 9 from the KJV. Which maketh Arcturus, Orion, and Pleiades in the chambers of the south. Job 38.31 in the KJV. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion? Now listen very the sweet listen very carefully. The sweet influences of Pleiades. Sweet influences. Sweet? How could a star system be sweet? Influences? What what are they influencing? Sweet influence? How can a star system be a sweet influence? Sweet influence of what? They're sweet. They're influence influencing what? And they're a sweet influence? The Pleiades? Well, those are stars. How can they be? Oh, what? Just saying. Whew. I'm getting a head rush over that. So I just wanted to share that. And then so <clears throat> when I look up Job, first I'll share Leov, okay, L-Y-O-V. So in the English gematria, that equals 444. In Jewish gematria, it's 1170. And then in the simple gematria, that's 74, which reduces to 11. 
and the Jewish one was 1170, so one was... So anyway, the English, it's 444. Very interesting, huh? Where we just looked up 99, and I was talking about Arcturus and the sweet influence of the Pleiades, and Leo, and what the... Uh, Lyrian, okay, 444, really, okay. So this is gematrix.org and the first one is Evelyn, <laughs> which is the form of my twin, and the searches, the amount of searches is 1919. Okay, <laughs> yeah, year of my grandfather's birth. So there's Yakova, um, Yakova. I don't know if that's Yahovah, Yokova, because I know Yaakov is Jacob. So let's see, well, there's, uh, what else do we got here? So we're, we're looking at the Jewish Gematria 1170, but the English, like I said, is 444. There was a couple things that um, stood out here. Uh, maybe it was on the other one. Well, there was just, there was a lot of, uh, warm food. Mm. <laughs> The meaning of 9-11, which has 222 value as well. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I think it was on the other one. Um, Angel of Knowledge. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read that one. <laughs> Noah's Unremembered Monument. Hmm. Lioness of Judea. There you go, right there. Hello. Isn't that interesting that Lioness of Judea is associated with Leo Job? Hmm. I think that's by accident. Uh, let's see if there's any other ones that stand out for this one. Transcending the illusion of time. <laughs> wow. And the word adjustments on there. Yes, that is a big adjustment. Vatican, <laughs> Vatican Hill nuked. <laughs> That's one. Hmm. Let's see. It's an 8 8 lover gene. <laughs> Whatever. But that's interesting. 88 and lover. The government. Uh -huh. That has 1170 Jewish Gematria value. National Hurricane Center tracking. <laughs> Mr. Yummy. <laughs> Insuppressible lust. <laughs> the START treaty. START is from star that's how we all start um, okay so Evelyn it's just funny because right off the top that means John the Baptist that means John and the number 1919 the year my grandfather was born and he's the Weber that's where we get the name Weber is from uh, his father okay all the way back to all sons of Eber Hebrew Weber, my last name, come from Shem, and I believe Shem, I've mentioned it before, I believe Shem was Jesus, and Eber was John the Baptist, and there was 
several reincarnations of Esau and Elijah and <clears throat> different. Okay, so Evelyn, my twin's name's Evo, or what he was. So I don't like labels. It's just this. I recognize things as what they are, and I go with the flow and being in the now. And yeah, so but Evelyn. So my name Anna is the feminine version of John in English. Okay. Um, my son's name is Zoshim. That's the Kurdish version of Joaquin is the Spanish version. Um, there's Elijah, Ivan, Evo, Evelyn. Uh, there's so many different versions of this name. Okay? And it all means John. And look, we got 444. Evelyn's the first one right off the bat. 444 four, four for the English, but we're looking up 1170. And Evelyn, boom, right there. First one, 1919 searches. So, um, and then the 74, the, for the simple gematria, that reduces to 11, but then the Jewish gematria up here on the top is 11, 7, so it's like this relationship with the 7 and the 4, the 4 archangels, the 4, 4, 4, and the 7 stars of the Pleiades, which are the guiding lights, the feminine forces, the feminine, um, the aspects of creation are feminine, okay? The light that carries the code is masculine. Any movement or anything to do with doing anything with the light is feminine. So, <clears throat> so I'm going to, excuse me, look up. I'm just going to type it in English, J-O-B. Is that what I did? Or maybe I went to... Uh, yeah, okay. So it's just same one, Gematrix. Okay, so this is 652, okay, but it's 27 in simple Gematria. And I just watched some, or I, was I looking at the clock or something, but it was like, um, 27727 seven, or something like It was like all twos and sevens, okay? So interesting that it was like Job 99 was coming to me right when all that 27 and then simple Gematria is 27. But one six, so 652 in Jewish Gematria, 162 in English, and 27 in the simple for J-O-B. So, um, my name is Ben was one higher than Job though for the Jewish Gematria 652. So interesting. Okay. Um, yeah, this is where they had, so necromancy, that's like reading bones, and that <clears throat> has 652 Jewish gematria, but the English gematria is 666, and the simple gematria is 111, with 1040 searches, 104 out the door. And the very next one after that is, and she became a pillar of salt, and that's 1332 English. Two 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 simple gematria. Two two two, okay. So focused intent is one. <laughs> Slim Shady <laughs> Transformers. My brother loved that. That was his favorite. That's nine nine six and one six six. So six and nines give receive. Yeah, he was Taurus Venus rule. Um, Job 99 is <laughs> on there, of course. Uh, large hard. It says hard on. Large hard on collider accident. Um, Javamaya. Javamaya. Tataris. Tataris is on there. <laughs> Tataris. <laughs> Santa Muerte. Muerte, I know, is, um, death, muerte. See, Divine Mother, death, rebirth, and I'm looking up Job, 9-9, nine, nine, okay. Poor perception. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's why we need the light and the darkness so we can see what's in there. Tataris, Tataris, and day and sky god. Wow, 7-20. That's that 72, okay? And this is 27, so... Born in May, 
has the same as the necromancy with 666 and then 111. See, death and rebirth, because it's like... Um, March of... No, that's March. I was going to say that's Aries time, but... Interesting that the bones may... Isn't May to June... Gemini... Hmm. Gemini, reading the bones, the 666 and the 111. wonder what... I know bones in my shamanic deck represent the uh, fire. And Gemini is the twins, twin flames. Bringing spirit into form, 111 and 666. And the difference between that is 555, which is Archangel Gabriel's number. Um, retarded lunatic, yeah, uh, because if you go by the moon, you got to be retarded, right? You got to be upside down, about, even though that's the right way. Key of Shambhala. Oh, <laughs> wow, oh, Jean. Magnificent husband, <laughs> like gene, like genetics, <laughs> um, dreadful abomination, the holy god, authorities, goddess of the great I am. And then we have old horny, <laughs> goddess of courage. So old horny, oh my god, look at that. Same exact numbers again is the necromancy and uh, what was the other one I just said? Um, I, I can't rewind. <laughs> but 666 and then 111 again. Huh. Old horny, necromancy. Oh yeah, and born in May. Gemini, the twins. I'm just getting like twin flame vibes. Um, an eternal soul. Caterpillar mother. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Sin against Moses. Ooh. The feather is rising. Yeah, Ma'at's feather. She of all that is feminine. Oh my god. The Hierophant of Hecate. <laughs> oh shit. <gasps> Freezing. <laughs> oh yeah, fire and ice. Um... Uh, what was I just looking at that represented that? Oh, I'll have to find it. Shit. But, yeah. Archangel Gabriel. Something with numbers and... Um, so there's freezing. There's Scarabaeus. Secer. S-A-C-E-R. I think that's... um. Sounds like that Scarab Beetle. Satan and his minions. <laughs> the Angels of Darkness. Sunburn, yep. Archangel Gabriel. <laughs> Something has to change. And that's associated with the number 211, which is like the um, human services hotline. Like the 411 of the I need help. <laughs> um. Let's see if there's anything. The Lord's eternal child. Oh, and that's a two one two. Yep. Two one two one two one. That's how we are. Come together, split apart, come together. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I just wanted to okay, so I'm done with that. But yeah, with the twenty seven and seventy two combination okay, so this the association with with the Hebrew Gematria was 652, so I went over to Bill Hydrix, and they only have one here, okay, and the equation is, so 652 equals 2 squared, so 2 times itself times 163. So 652 says this, it's only one line. <clears throat> Numerous or multitude. 
semicolon increase and in parentheses of family comma offspring another semicolon interest parentheses on money another semicolon greatness in parentheses of wisdom so greatness of wisdom um interest on money so that's just money building itself like the wealth the true wealth of the tree that the fruit and it just falls on the ground receives itself and oh my god you have a whole orchard just it it does it by itself it only is a problem when we start manipulating everything. We're just supposed to like coax it and guide it and make sure the animals don't trample it and maybe put a little fence around it to protect the orchard or something so it doesn't get all eaten by everything. You know, whatever. Just We're just supposed to protect it and let it do its thing. That's what the masculine does with the feminine. Numerousness or multitude increase of family offspring, the money just just replenishing itself, the wealth, the abundance, the greatness of wisdom, the divine feminine. If you know this, you will not have any lack mentality. We're erasing all traces of scarcity. Scar city. Scarcity comes from scars. You're living in a city of scars. Okay, so that since that had 163 in it, now I want to go over to 163. Ooh, that was a flow. Okay. Breath. Breath work. So let's see what's 163 and then we'll wrap this up here. So still in Bill Hydric, 163 is So, okay, that's 38th prime which reduces to 11. 3 and 8 very much Christ consciousness. Okay, so 163 says this Finger, forefinger, finger breadth. Okay, so how we measure something even. We don't even need to build all these tools, okay? Why? For what? I mean, it as long as it clears your head and it's not weird, like a weird step, like on steps that has to be, you know, not too high because, but not too small or, you know what I mean? Just, we just use our, our body as our measurement. Okay, it, it, ha it contains the golden ratio. So, um, you know, you could use a, a giant pine cones as a measure. Whatever is just the same measurement each time, okay? It's just the consistency of the measurement. It's not the actual size of the measurement itself. <laughs> We're not going there, okay? So, one, six, three, finger, four finger, finger breadth, okay? So, when I see finger breadth, I see measuring, okay? And then next line, toe. So fingers and toes, okay? We don't need more than what we can count on our fingers and toes. We don't need to do more than what we can use our own body to do, to measure, to protect, okay? We shouldn't be going any faster than our body go. We shouldn't be in cars and all these things traveling. You know, well, maybe when we were angels and we had wings, we went faster. And, you know, some people are rolling fast like cheetahs and they can run fucking fast as fuck. But, okay, so and then the next line is to be gibbous or curved. And gibbous, okay, like the gibbous monkey, okay. So to be gibbous, gibbous kind of sounds like gibbous, Gabriel, curved, okay, very much protecting the divine mother with that fire, that, right, she, he makes sure that womb stays pure so that she can procreate and create, and we wouldn't even have an existence if she... So that's why they try to infect the womb and kill the womb and kill the divine, kill the mother, kill the feminine, kill the right brain, kill the, okay. So to be gibbous and curved. Whoredoms, apostasy, idolatry, foreign commerce. Oh yeah. We've been dealing in, especially in the United States, right? Dealing all, all we've been doing is foreign commerce, which is idolatry. Because we're not going with God's guidance. We're coming from lack mentality. So we got ourselves in a big old mess, right? Big Right? Turn into the world's whores, whoredoms. 
and hoarding too. <laughs> but it says a w h o r e dumbs. Okay, so dome of horn, whores, <laughs> horns, right? Son of wickedness. That's the last one. So, let's see if we have one more. Um, Oh, I already have this open on another site. So, okay, so I think that was all I wanted to share for that one. And yeah, okay. I love you all. Peace be upon you all and blessings to each and every one of you.